Dunk on him, now I'm swinging off the rim Can't come in off the bench While I'm coming off the court, fully really drenched Here goes some hater rain, get your throat quenched What's up, YouTube? What the fuck is going on? <clears throat> What the fuck is up? Bitch, I am back. And the last time y'all saw me, bitch, where the fuck I was at? Hold on. Where the fuck I was at? I was somewhere doing vlogmas and then I disappeared. Right or wrong? See, what had happened was towards the end of the year, my schedule got really busy. And I just didn't have time. I didn't have time. I didn't have time. I was like overbooked with clients. I had a lot of shit to get done. Christmas shopping, New Year's, a whole lot of shit. And I just didn't, I just literally... It wasn't I couldn't find time. I just, I didn't have the energy. I didn't have the, you know, the drive to pick up my phone to record. But bitch, we back. And we better than ever. It's a new year, bitch. I don't think I left. I'm here. You thought I was gone? Well, I'm here. And I'm here to stay. In my fucking bonnet, bitch. In my whole ass bonnet. The fuck? See, I was gonna get cute for this video, but the thing is, we real and we raw on this side. So take me the fuck as I am. I take y'all how the fuck y'all come. Respect my shit. You wanna see what I'm saying? Bonnie the door. The fuck? Anyway, I spontaneously decided to do this video. Not only because I wanted to get something up for the new year, but because it's something so common. Our phones. We always in our phones, you feel me? We always on Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or wherever the fuck you be at. And I think it's about time that we start using this shit. To do something positive for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we get... A lot of the times we get on here, we want tea, you know. Be mixy, start shit. You know, things of that nature. That's what y'all like to get into. This is what y'all use y'all social media platforms for. No. It's time to start using that to do something positive. If you got a business, a brand, you know, something that you're trying to get out. Use your social media platforms. And right now, I'm going to just tell y'all how... The shit has helped me over the past year. It was a long year. 2018 was a really long year. Let's get that out in the open. It was a really long year. Ups and downs, you feel me? It was just a lot going on. Through that, I still managed to get my weight up. You feel me? How I did that, I used my Instagram, I used my Facebook, and my Snapchats and things like that. First and foremost, if you don't, make sure y'all go ahead and follow me on... Hold on. Follow me on Instagram. At Law Belize. Law dot Belize, bitch. Make sure y'all follow that. So, as y'all know, if y'all seen some of my previous videos, I do hair. People knew I did hair. You feel me? Word of mouth. I, I, I'm a real social person. So, you know, anybody I come across, they'll definitely probably know that within the first 15 minutes of conversation. But it was important that I started reaching a different audience. You know, if I really wanted to get my weight up, I couldn't stay so stagnant. At first, I was I didn't want to make a business page. I thought it would be overlooked. People wasn't going to pay attention to it and things like that. I lied. I made my business page. I made a page by the name of Styles by Shaw. Again, go follow that on Instagram, underscore Styles by Shaw. This is my hair page. Right now, we got what? I say we got 905 profile visits in the last seven days we had 1280 followers 224 posts get into it I use my social media to network with people that I didn't know people from you know other boroughs and things of that nature even some people that I be um con even some people will be contacting me from different states like inquiring about business and I was able to reach them using my Instagram. I made my page public. That was the first step into allowing people to be able to find you. I made my page public. Making your page public increases your chances of being discovered. You might pop up in somebody's friends you may know, or on an explore page, or something like that. Bitches is on third. Bring me a fry. Bring me a french fry, Malik Hill, Kimari. Bring me a french fry. When it comes to social media, it's important to understand that it's all about a cycle. 
everything goes around the internet goes like this that's why you see the same thing up and down your timeline you understand everything is a connection so if one person share your shit one person might share their shit and one person might share their shit and that's three people that didn't see your shit you understand what i'm saying so all you need is one person to fuck with you as long as one person felt you you're gonna be on so when you thinking oh i'm gonna need a whole group of, a whole army behind me all you need is one person to fuck with you the long way and after that it's written i had learned this um this is a while, but this is in 2015. This is the first time, mind you, I used to just post videos on Facebook. I used to post videos on Facebook. You know, this is when Dub Smash and shit was lit. Dub Smash was a really big thing at this time, so, bitch, I used to love doing it. Like, shit was funny. I used to like being creative. I like dressing up. I think secretly I want to be an actress, because that just come to me naturally. But, yeah, Dub Smash was a big thing. Niggas know how Dub Smash was moving at the time. So that's how I really started posting videos. It was Dub Smash was hot at the time, and um, it was a shit where you could uh, record, then stop, record, then stop, kind of like Vine. It was like an app that everybody was using. So I was making videos using those too, and I would post them to my Facebook. The first time that I actually got a large response from a lot of people was back in 2015. Um, me and my friends had took a trip to the movies. This is just, this is us. Like, you feel me? This is shit we do every day without a camera. So, for some reason, I decided to incorporate a camera this time. So, we had went to the movies, whatever. We just come back for the movies. And, you know, after the movie, everybody be a little dreaded shit. So, I'm like, I'm finna crank this shit up a notch. So, I had seen a video from, um, a popular, uh, he was popular on Facebook, too. He, he still is at this, like, everybody know who he is. His name is Billionaire MH. I don't know if y'all, um, are familiar with him but he makes videos and his shits be hitting off and he had made a video and i i kind of like reenacted it but not necessarily and i had posted it to my facebook the um the response from it it didn't like when i first posted it, like i just had like my friends and shit coming like ah oh, lmao you know shit like that that's how it started i had my friends and shit they was commenting they was sharing it and I went to sleep. I went to sleep, woke up the next morning. My shit was zooming. No cap. My shit was zooming. Right now, so I posted this June 7th, 2015. This was the video. Y'all can find this on both my Facebook and my Instagram. So yeah, I recorded that video back in June 7th, 2015. And I feel like it's important to know your growth. I feel like everything starts off small. So if it's an accomplishment for you, don't let anyone else tell you that it's not good enough. You understand what I'm saying? I wasn't getting, this, my shit was never hitting off like this. So to see that people thought that I was funny, like I just, I think I'm funny. I think I'm hilarious. So for other people to think I'm fucking funny, bitch, that's a plus. So niggas started sharing my shit all crazy. This one right here, this is that 244k views on Facebook. And um, 4.4k shares and a plethora of comments. This was back in June. 2015 recently i posted a video around this time last year and my problem is my problem with me is consistency if you want a response you must be consistent i feel like not necessarily force yourself on people but don't let people get time to forget who you are that's why i made my mistake recently i posted a video around this time last year and it resurfaced again this year and it's still going a bit crazy right now it's at 56.8k views on facebook 1k likes and 1,143 shares. Um, it's just a video of me talking my shit. A wig might have came up in the process. It's But yeah, niggas was fucking with that. I shit. fuck with Facebook. I've been fucking with Facebook, but I kind of like got over it because I feel like other people not using it for reasons that they should be using it for, and it's so back in the day for me. Like people are really childish on that um app. That blue app will get niggas killed. No cap. So I took my talents over to Instagram. Instagram is a little bit different. Even though my, my page is public and I'm at 2,757 followers, which is fine for me. I'm not, I'm not really worried about followers. As long as I'm attracting a large audience, then that's fine. Recently, I posted a video on Instagram on December 22nd. Right now, it's at 8,422 views. Just last year... 
and I watched my growth increase over the couple months. This video hit 3,000. Videos prior to that, 1,000. My growth as the months went on. I noticed what people wanted to see, what people didn't want to see. And making your page public allows you to see insights, allows you to see who's your audience, who you're attracting, um, where are you attracting these people from, how many people are interacting with your page, and which ways they are inter um, interacting. It lets you know what parts of the world your followers come from. Um, and it lets you know the ages of the people that are viewing, so you know which audience to target. Right now, 71% of my audience is from New York. And the age range that I get the most are 18 to 24 years old, and 60% are men. So the niggas love me, you feel me? So, when the bitches be mad, the niggas love me, period. It's say you right there. Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, I watched myself level up over the years. And it's one thing about me is, I don't really like asking people for shit. That's just me, especially when it comes to something that contributes to me being of higher self i don't want anybody feeling like they helped me get to that point so i use my own foundation i use my own name and you feel me i leveled the fuck up i stepped my shit all the way up you feel me i started being more active on my social media just really getting my name up why because i had other plans for it. you want to see what i'm saying when you're going to build a brand go the full way fuck it be all in like that's what you want to do that's your dream then follow it don't have ask anything so i went all in i put my name out there niggas started fucking with me. they know who i am now y'all gonna know what the fuck i do i don't just tell jokes so i use my um personal page to advertise my business page this is how niggas started knowing that i did a little hair on the side so i would post my work then tag my hair page then people would click the um the at name and then end up following my hair page so this is how i was using you know my this is how i was using social media to connect everything people think you funny you know people fuck with you let me see how hard you fuck with me now support other things that i do that's definitely what took place this is how i knew some of the the love i was receiving was really authentic people moved right on over and they was following my hair page even a couple of niggas that you know i knew niggas don't want their hair done you feel me but they was following that page just to say you know just in case a bitch went her, her, her wig done or some shit you they know who the fuck to call you get it but yeah i started using that to put my, my hair page on. Like, I'm going to put myself on, you feel me? And I also started using my um personal Instagram page to promote my uh, YouTube. I even got the idea to start doing YouTube from my Instagram followers. My Instagram followers was really pushing and agging me to get a, a YouTube. People was like, oh, and my Snapchat friends. I don't really be on Snapchat like that no more because Snapchat really ain't what it used to be. That's for the Lord niggas and shit like that. But when I was on there, people was like, yo, you wild funny. Like, you know, just the day in the life of. Like, yo, you wild funny, you wild funny. You should do a YouTube page. So that's what I did. I use my Snapchat and my Instagram to promote my YouTube page. I use my um pro um my personal um Instagram to promote my hair page. I use my Facebook to promote my Instagram. Like everything works in a cycle. So this is how you have to use your social media platform to make yourself a whole business. Like I got a whole business going on right here. Like I could jump from from platform. I could jump from Facebook to Instagram to, to YouTube. Then back to Snapchat. This is my business. Like I made a whole business using social media. Like, and I feel like if. You always want to be a fiend for social media, like you always wanted that clout. Like, it's no better time than to get it than now. Like, let's be real. As sad as that may sound, it's no better time to clout chase than now. Social media is really what's getting niggas out there. Half of the motherfuckers that y'all know probably wouldn't even know who the fuck they are had it not been for social media. People out here selling their souls just to hit off on social media. Cool. For that, what I gotta say is stay for something or you'll fall for anything. However you put yourself out there is how people will perceive you. And that's how they're always gonna perceive you. So if you got if you hit off sucking dick, people won't expect to see you sucking dick at every video that you post. They're gonna comment, they're gonna be commenting and shit like, yo, suck my dick, you know, just wild shit, just be disrespectful. That's just how it works. So make sure whatever you put in forth is how you wanna be known, like that's what i had to know too so i couldn't so that's why i didn't box myself in when i put myself out there i didn't just box myself into one caddy i didn't want people just always expect one thing from me. i wanted niggas to know that i'm diverse like i could do this i could do that and i could do this and i could do that i can go there i can go here i can go there and i can go here you know what i'm saying like i'm just not just one type of you feel me like real versus how in the sets and i feel like it's no logical reason to get up and sit on an app every day just because like that's really foolish to me. Like, people get up 
it's get on Instagram just cause I'm not up there for fun. Trust me, I'm not up there cause I'm bored. I'm not. I'm looking for something to cook the fuck up. That's what I'm up there doing. I'm looking for a way to make myself bigger. Like I can't just get up on Instagram just because. Like I don't know how people do that. People just be on Facebook all day. Niggas get up and get on Facebook all day. Like and they're really not using it to do anything. That's why they should really make motherfuckers pay for this social media. Like we gonna see how many people are gonna be committed to it as they are how they are. You understand what I'm saying? If they had to pay for that shit, because baby. What are y'all here for? Please. Enlighten me. The fuck? And the real purpose of this video is not only to just encourage y'all, but to encourage myself to really go crazy right now while the internet is such a big thing. Because times change, and niggas know that. Get put on now while it's so easy. Like, you wanna see what I'm saying? Do not let days go by where motherfuckers just jumping on Instagram, just hitting on just cause. They don't have no purpose. Like, I would be the voice for the youth. Like, put me on. Get a, give a real nigga a spot. You feel me? That's what I'm trying to say. And this is this is this is also to let y'all know how hard I'm gonna go this year. Like, that's really why I made this video. We hit 100 subscribers before the new year. I forgot to mention that's what we was aiming for. So you know, pats on our back. You wanna see what I'm saying? Y'all fuck with me here at Shop for Ego TV and we doing the damn thing. Yeah. And you know, this man. You understand what I'm saying? So, and I'm really about to crank it up. Like, I'm really about to go hard this year. I'm about to use it while it's here. Like, for it not even be a thing anymore. Dead ass. It's that whatever. It's that whatever. Nevertheless, I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick. Just give y'all a little rundown. You feel me? This is how this is, I'm trying to show y'all how where i'm starting at for the year 2019 this is where i'm starting this is this is my audience this is how i'm moving this is where we at right now y'all see where i'm at y'all see how i'm doing on my social media pages this will not last forever by the end of 2019 y'all gonna see a big difference you understand what i'm saying y'all heard it here first video to 20 first video 2019 y'all heard it here first we're not gonna be at 100 subscribers at the end of this year we're gonna be somewhere on a yacht shipping champagne you feel me i might be exaggerating but bitch ain't nobody gonna tell me that's a lie who you God ain't say it. Fuck you thought. All in all, I really made this video just to encourage everybody who watches me to use their social media platforms. This is how I'm this is what I'm utilizing right now to get on. This is my secret right now. This is what I'm using to put myself out there. Meanwhile, I'm still connecting in these streets. I'm still using my social media to connect with people I don't know. I've never seen, never felt, never touched, never heard. You understand what I'm saying? This is what I'm doing. And I want y'all to do that too. This is fuel for me. This is energy for me. Y'all see why I started that. Y'all see how my views and how everything be looking. It won't be like this at the end of this year. You can't tell me nothing. No shade. Niggas know that. Niggas know my body. I don't give a fuck about nobody. Niggas think it, nigga. I don't give a fuck about nobody. You know, I thought me nothing. Bitch, you dumb. Fuck. Fuck. Nigga. Get nobody really to me out there. I had to start thinking like that. Because a lot of people go, you feel me? A lot of people gonna say that's cocky. But they don't know what you've been through or heard your story before. They won't understand why you feeling like how you feeling like how you feeling like you the man. Like, I'm that bitch. I gotta tell myself, I gotta look at myself and tell myself that. Cause anybody else gonna tell me that? And anybody else gonna mean it like how I mean it? I will not be here in this same position at the end of this year. First video 2019, we're gonna compare this. If y'all still fucking with me, by the time 2020 come, y'all gonna know what's real and what's not. It was nice to come sit down and talk to y'all for a minute, you feel me, real quick. Before I really get started on the antics. You understand what I'm saying? Keep fucking with me because I'm here and I'm not going nowhere. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure you subscribe. And follow my social media platforms. Do you want to see a little bit more about me, you feel me, on a day-to-day -day basis? Follow me on social media. I'm going to try to um pick certain days that I upload videos just so that I know to stay consistent and that I have to meet deadlines. You know, just setting personal goals for myself. But keep fucking with me. I'm here. Like I said, I ain't going nowhere, bitch. Catch me on the up and up, period.